Hi all, Bill Greenberg with Phonescholar.com and I bet you think today is Friday, July 23rd, 2010 and technically it is, but you know what really today is? Today is free iPhone 4 bumper day! Whee! Okay, um, here's a summary of what's on the website today. Apple rolls out free case program for all iPhone 4 owners. Okay, and as prom promised by Steve Jobs last week in his conference, they did start the program today. Uh, there's a web page which I created a link directly to on the website so you can go directly to it. It's the iPhone case, iPhone 4 case program. Like I said, I did a link that takes you directly to it. You do have to download an app to your iPhone to go through that. And it's very, very important that you understand you only get one shot at this. If you choose a case, once you choose the case, when you go back to the app, it will not let you look at any of the cases. Now you can either get the bumper, and for those of you who don't know, what the bumper is, it truly is just like a rubber band that's going around the end. It's not fully encompassing the phone, the back of the phone. It's just literally a band that goes around to cover the antenna problem when you put your hand on it. But they are also giving you the option of some third-party vendor cases. So take a good look, but take your time when you're choosing this, because like I said, once you choose it, that's it, you're done, you can't go back. So like the night set at Indiana Jones 3, you must choose wisely. So, showing the age again. Okay. Um, you have to allow three to five weeks for the for the delivery, and if you've already bought a bumper or a case or anything, I don't know if they're doing for cases, but I know for the bumper, if you've already purchased one, I also put a link for the PDF. You have to fill out a rebate form. Sorry, but that's the way they're doing it. If you want your money back, but I did again put the direct link that says download PDF. You can download that, fill it out, and send it in, and you'll get your money back. So there you go. I hope that helps out. Um, now. On the flip side, something else that Steve Jobs promised last week is not coming through. And the white phone, I, the white iPhone 4 delayed again, and they're, they're saying innovative manufacturing process, just a bit too tricky. And I'm not going to go into it here, but if you read the article, it truly does go in depth on the paint and how it sticks and how it doesn't stick and how they have to change it and how the black is different from the white. It is actually fairly fascinating, but go ahead and take a look at that. So instead of... Um, coming out the end of this month, which is what he said last week, it looks like it's not going to be out towards the end of the year. So if you're waiting for a white iPhone 4, you're going to have to continue waiting. Sorry about that. Okay, um, there's an article every Friday. There's a one of the com one of the publications that I use is called RCR Wireless News, and I get a lot of stories out of there to put onto the website. And every Friday they publish a thing called Worst of the Week. And Dan Meyer is one of the contributing writers to that, and he's a very, very funny man. And he wrote an article this week that I put in here. I read them every week, but I don't always think they're worthy to put on here because sometimes they get technical and stuff like that. They're always terrific articles, but this one was an extremely humorous spin on this whole bumper and iPhone 4 antenna thing and everything. And I think you'll really enjoy it. So go ahead and read that. Um, as, like I said, I think you'll really enjoy it. So go ahead and read it. And then finally, AOL releases Android app. And basically, AOL has completely stumped Apple. I'm going to say for now. I'm eventually going to say they will have an app on the iPhone. That's a personal opinion. There's nothing to that. But as of now, they've gone strictly with the Google Android for the app. And it gives you direct access to AOL Mail, uh, things like MapQuest, Pop Eater, stuff like that. So it's a very quick and easy download. It should be available now. Um, I'm going to say it's free. There was no price on here, so I'm going to assume it's free. If there's a price, I do apologize for that. Okay, under categories, under Bluetooth, uh, review, Blue Ant makes good on hands-free with S4. Uh, for those of you who've been following me from, from the very beginning, or if you want to go all the way back, Blue Ant is a company that makes tremendous, tremendous Bluetooth products, and they were one of the first interviews from CTIA that I launched this website with. And the S4 is a visor. Now, if you're like me, I, don't, I hate having stuff in my ear, and I don't like wearing Bluetooth devices, so I only have one in my car, which you really should. If you talk on your phone in the car, it's really bad. It is distracting. You may not realize it, but you are distracting yourself. Now, with mine, I have to hit a button to, to start the in information and everything. This one is 100% voice activated, which is really cool. Um, it got a great review, so go ahead and take a look at it. It's about 130 bucks, which is right in price line with all the other stuff. So take a look at it. I think you'll really like it. And like I said, I would always trust the Blue Ant products. I think they're terrific. I do have to apologize for yesterday. I didn't make clear the article that I put out about the iPhone 4 versus the Evo 4G. Somebody wrote me thinking I did the article and then it was confusing at the end, which it was. And I've actually written them an email uh, to, to the effect that for those of you who didn't read it, basically he said 
the, the Evo won a lot of the categories, the iPhone 4 won a lot of the categories, and at the end he said, well, I'm sticking with the iPhone because I don't want to learn all the new Evo 4 stuff, which I, 4G stuff, which I thought was kind of a cop-out, and again, so I apologize for not laying that disclaimer up front. Uh, it was not my article, but I did agree with you, and I did send something off. If they send something back to me, I'll follow up with that. To see all the full articles on here and everything else, please check out www.phonescholar.com. Have a tremendous, tremendous weekend. I'm going to be running around with six 10-year-olds for my son's birthday party, so wish me well. Monday, I may be on the video, but we'll have to see. So have a great, great weekend, and I'll talk to you Monday.